Welcome to CSL TV, and I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is just a review, a reaction, as well as an informational channel. And I just hope the informational part helped you with someone out. And we pretty much just watch these videos and talk about them. And I just got to thank the people that's been rocking with me because you could be somewhere else trying to find these videos, but yet you're racking it out with CSL TV. And I just got to say, I appreciate that so much. Now, today's real, y'all already know. It's a lot of stuff that goes on every day. I just pray that everybody be safe, stay safe, and stay blessed. And you already know. Let's get it. This story will have you asking, what the f*** is wrong with people? It all started Thursday when three men allegedly robbed another person in Beverly Hills. Two of the men were quickly arrested, but one had his girlfriend pick him up before he could be caught, which set off a high-speed chase through South LA. But here's the dumbest. Part. This guy apparently decided that now was the best time to start a live stream on Instagram. Bro, I don't want to go back to jail. I don't. But wait, there's more. It turns out the girlfriend had her newborn baby in the car. Just pull over and put your hands up, bro. My baby is in a car, Dayan. You're not thinking about your baby right now. You finna get our baby too, bro. they gonna smoke me. Nearly an hour after the whole thing began, the suspect pulls onto a dead end street and shows police the child. After a short standoff, the couple gets out of the car, both are arrested, and the baby is cradled and fed by a police officer. And while crazy videos like this sometimes get a lot of play, what's never mentioned by corporate media is why crazy crime like this happens in the first place. Poverty. Experts believe most property crime would fade away if everyone had access to the basic necessities of life like housing, food, healthcare, and a stable income. The man who was driving the car has been arrested and charged with robbery, carjacking, and kidnapping. It's unclear if the mother will be charged. Local media say she's out of jail and back with her baby. Well, I just want to say that this guy definitely was stupid. Um, I seen the video. I didn't see the live stream, but I seen the video of the live stream. And he was on live stream talking about some. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. When we know, you know what I'm saying, you was a part of something. And this is why they, you know, picked your ass up as soon as she picked your ass up. Because we heard her talking about what the hell's going on. I got the baby in the car. You can't be doing this right now. She was begging and pleading for him to stop. And then she said, what the, you on live stream right now? Do you think that's a good thing to do? Well, honestly, if you really think about how everything is and how people are with believing this, believing that, it's good he went on live stream because now that not only make you look good, but they also put all of it on him so they won't think that you was a part of this other crazy stuff that he was ranting about that he said he wasn't a part of. Now your name is cleared up because I heard him yelling on there saying he wasn't a part of it, he didn't do it. But then she up here saying, what the hell's going on? You know, she was acting like she didn't really know. And it was a genuine she didn't know because repeatedly she asked his ass to stop, to stop. You can't be doing this right now. The baby in the car. And this just let y'all know, America, well, fuck that. The world is going through something that we have not seen or we do not know. And it's some stuff that we can't explain that's about to happen. Just like COVID came here, couldn't nobody figure that out. First, they tried to say it was black people passing it. Then they tried to say gay people and all this other crazy shit. And you look at the president who got COVID four years after dealing with the shit. So, I mean, we don't know. I just say, y'all, uh, you know, believe in something good. Always stay positive. Don't be carrying this type of negative energy because negative energy follows. But if you stay positive and be a good person, I guarantee you. Eventually, you're going to be part of that universe of just good things happening. This story is fucked up. This is 32-year-old Samantha Anthony from San Antonio, Texas. Cops say that one early morning last winter, Samantha went to this McDonald's to order breakfast. After about 30 minutes, Samantha came back to the drive-thru irate, saying she hadn't received part of her order. She claimed she was missing hash browns and biscuits, she'd eaten the rest of her order. Employees went back and checked the surveillance video, which clearly showed Samantha receiving her food. 
An employee who was working that night who didn't want to appear on camera told this to local news. I either, even though I could see it on her lap. After about 30 minutes of arguing, employees say that's when Samantha pulled out a fucking gun and started firing through the drive through window. I mean, I was crying. I was scared. I was having a panic attack. This video shows the aftermath once police arrived. You can see the bullet holes in the window. Can't make this shit up. Thankfully, no one was physically injured in this attack. And now, Samantha has been arrested and charged with felony assault. Sadly though, crazy shit like this at drive throughs and restaurants happens more often than you think, thanks to an economic system, capitalism, that keeps workers poor and armed to the teeth. Experts say we can expect frightening stuff like this to keep happening until we fix the radical inequality that is plaguing our world. Man, that's hella crazy for the simple fact. She didn't eat all the food, and you know, say she didn't get the food. Didn't get so upset that she fucking shoot up McDonald's. And I'm just wondering, is she pregnant? You know, what is going on? Because I know mentally the world is going through it. But damn, over some Mickey D's though. Like if you was hurting that bad, shit, you should have just bought it again. Uh, you know, some, I mean, shit, you should have used the app and got some points. And then you could have, you know what I'm saying, double back and order it again. Or some, maybe she used all her points and she couldn't double back. So then she tried to steal and double back. And when that didn't work, you know what I'm saying? And then that's when she shot up the drive through So think about it. What if your stupid self would have hurt somebody over some hash browns and shit? You know what I'm saying? You didn't get your sausage McGriddle with the extra sausage and steak and cheese. And you ask for your hash rounds to be double dipped so they can have the extra crisps. And now you want to go get mad and get your gun and do something stupid like this. See, the problem is stupid people with guns and not the guns. Because you can leave a gun somewhere. And as long as nobody's tampering or messing with it, that gun is not going to go off. That gun is just going to be that. But then you get stupid idiots like this. You get a hold of something that powerful. It's like being in the car. If you don't follow all the safety rules in the vehicle, you're doing double, triple the speed limit. You know what I'm saying? You up here acting reckless, not obeying the law, OSHA rules, all that shit, and you hurt somebody, and you start mowing and chopping people down. The car didn't do it. The person behind that wheel did it. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like that. So I hope justice be served the right way because you shot that gun that many times and all them employees in there and innocent people, I mean, what if the shit would've just turned out super bad?